Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Kazuo Tsubuchi from Honda Motor Corporation. I'm very honored to uh, be able to make uh, my presentation. Today, I would like to explain, uh, uh, introduce uh, Honda journey and the uh, challenge towards a software defined vehicle. But uh, uh, I have only five minutes for today, so then uh, so I, will, I will try to give a quick explanation. Okay, so at the first end, let me quick introduction uh, by myself. Uh, I'm an executive, uh, engine, executive chief engineer at Honda. Uh, I'm in charge of the e-architecture and the software platform development for the next generation integrated system at Honda. I have uh, over the 30 years experience in the embedded software, uh, mainly related to the automotive and uh, also the work for the several OSS and the standardization activity, uh, such like AGL, JNB, and Autoza, and the Jasper. And then, uh, so I have just joined the Honda in May of the, uh, this year. And uh, so this is the uh, world view uh, we, uh, Honda, have in mind and wanted to realize in the S software defined. The key message is that the, by connecting the outside of the car and uh, uh, evolving the quickly, uh, we can realize the dream of the each person, our customer, and then that uh, provides them with the uh, joy of the mobility. And uh, to achieve uh, this, uh, we think that the data should be uh, placed in the center to connect with the, our customer and the social infrastructure. In order to realize this goal, we also believe that it is important to develop and provide software more quickly. Okay. And uh, this is uh, one of the, our consideration for e-architecture for STB. E-architecture is very famous in the automotive world. And we think that in order to create more value through the SDB, uh, it will be more necessary than ever before to uh, continuously and speedily collect the data, analyze, and develop software by utilizing that. Uh, to achieve that, we also think that it is necessary to have the integrated architecture uh, that include cloud computing, not just thinking of the system only within the vehicle side. And also, the while in the scope of the target system is expanding and becoming larger, we must also develop and provide that quickly. In order to respond to this, in the, we think that more integrated e architecture is necessary than ever before. So that is here. We uh, this will be uh, e architecture uh, consisting of the central ECU and zone ECU. And the next in the our big challenge uh, in the utilizing in the how and in what to realize in the software platform. Software platform is very important for us to realize in the STB. Uh, spe uh, specifically, uh, we are considering the following the three point, important point. And the first in the development environment that in the incorporate with the virtual technology. And the second is a mechanism for the handling of data, both in the cloud side and in vehicle side. And the last in the in vehicle operating system, especially how to incorporate the standardized standardization technology, such as AGL. Okay. So this is a more detailed explanation of the development environment. Uh, so, but uh, today, and I have only five minutes, so then the, so I uh, have. Uh, experience in detail, but anyway, so we should need to be a challenge and challenge for enabling the STB. So uh, next point is how to develop and the software. Uh, we believe and develop software in house, in house in the uh, uh, leading in the software development and by Honda is important in the taking on the challenge of the STB. Uh, in the STB generation, and the system will be larger than ever before, 
So we Honda believe it is important for us to understand in the software better than ever before. Uh, in order to speed up and uh, development cycle and expand the developing flexibility and ensure the uh, quality. Quality is a big challenge for us also. And last, and uh, so uh, we believe our OSS is extremely important to realize in realizing the STB. Because as I mentioned, and the software anyway is so very important. So then the, so, and also the Honda by ourselves and the rating software. So then also uh, OSS is very important for, uh, for Honda. For example, the OSS is already strongly related to uh, in vehicle technology, such as AGL, Zen, Zephyr, Yokt, and Eliza. And uh, we believe that uh, the cloud, AI, security, SBOM will also need in the future. So uh, Honda does not simply use this technology, but also we want to make a strong contribution to do that. Uh, Honda was uh, almost hardware company before, but uh, we are moving to be a more software-oriented company with OSS. Okay, well, thank you for uh, this is all my super fast presentation. Thank you, Kobe. Thank you.